Hey guys, Justin here. I am an iRacing certified hot lapper. How do I know? Well, I have a 25% pole percentage on ovals and over double the amount of poles as wins. Okay, that second part's a bit embarrassing, forget that. But as a certified hot lapper, I would like to share some of my tips on how to improve your qualifying for fixed oval races. Please leave a like on this video if you found any of these tips helpful in order to help me out with the algorithm and subscribe if you want to see more guides like this. For the first tip, before all else, find the limit of the car. To squeeze as much speed as possible out of your car, it is important to know the limits of angle, braking, and throttle aggressiveness. If you are constantly three or more tenths behind the best qualifying times, that usually means you have not yet approached the limits of your car. This may sound like a difficult task, because it is, but even if you inch closer to that limit, your time will steadily improve. My method for learning a hot lap is by crashing. Yes, really. I usually crash my car at least three times before ever putting a lap down and testing. I find it easier to start a little over the limit of what my car can handle in terms of aggressiveness on corner entry and pickup of throttle. Then I dial it back so I have an idea of what is possible and what is not. If you start conservative and build up to the limit, you risk building slow habits, which lead to hitting a point where you can't improve with your current approach and you almost have to learn all over again to improve from there. Knowing the limits of what's possible in your car is half the battle when it comes to executing a good qualifying lap. The next tip is finding the perfect in-car settings. There are a few adjustments you can make to help you in a fixed series, the most important one being brake bias. You can watch my video on brake bias for an in-depth explanation on how to choose a brake bias. The gist of it though is you want your brake bias to be as low as possible without having your tires slide in the corner entry. You will need the extra rotation of low brake bias brings at the majority of tracks for qualifying. Steering ratio is also important for hot lap. I tend to use the same steering ratio for race and qualifying, but consider experimenting with a slightly lower steering ratio for qualifying, as tire wear does not matter on hot lap and maybe the quicker inputs would help you get some more time out of your lap. For steering offset, it's all about comfort, but I tend to want the wheel completely straight on the straightaways and adjust the offset accordingly. And the next tip is work on spatial awareness to the wall. One small detail that takes a beginner or intermediate approach to the next level is how close you are able to get to the wall on corner entry and exit. At many tracks on corner entry, the extra arc you are able to get by staying right next to the wall right up until entry can be worth several hundredths of a second between corner entry and center due to being able to carry slightly more speed and use slightly less wheel input throughout the corner. Each small gain all adds up. The same idea on corner exit. Choking the car's exit instead of tracking it all the way to the wall within millimeters of it will cost you multiple hundredths of a second down a long straightaway. In the end, you could be losing over a tenth just because you aren't getting close enough to the wall. And the next tip, run up is just as important as your hot lap. I seem to reiterate this every single track qualifying guide I make. Carrying as much speed as possible to the line will get you anywhere between 5 hundredths and 2 tenths of a second compared to a normal line depending on the track. Maximizing your speed at the line isn't always as simple as running the high line in turn 3 and 4 and coming to the green. You want to do whatever is possible to get on the throttle as early as possible without bogging down your car to the low revs of 4th gear. The fastest possible exit speed quite often comes from a line that does not resemble a normal racing line in the slightest. To see any specific examples, I suggest watching my previous ARCA qualifying guys to see how I maximize my speed using these ideas. In general though, you want to full throttle the high line at large ovals and brake very early and turn off the wall to make as long of a straight of an exit as possible at short tracks. The next tip is, don't go 100% go 90 to 95 percent. In qualifying you only get one shot, or I guess two shots if your first lap is the money lap. One of the biggest mistakes you can make in qualifying is trying for too much on corner entry. I like to use my relative when I'm qualifying and set it to best lap all time to make sure I'm not carrying too much speed into the corner. If my hot lap is able to be completed on the first lap, I usually do one attempt fairly close to 100 percent of my limit and if that fails, the second attempt I go for closer to 90% of my limit. An extra spot or two on the start is not worth the possibility of starting dead last by messing up that second time. The more practice you have though, 
and the more comfortable you are with your hot lap, the closer you can push your limit even on that second attempt. And finally, for the last tip, when all else fails, use a reference. Is this an advertisement for my ARCA qualifying guide series? Maybe. But regardless, we've all hit that wall where we feel like we can't get any faster, so we must be missing something, right? Well, using videos and guides as a reference for breaking points, throttle points, and the general line will provide a fast, easy answer to many unknowns. For car and track combos that do not have YouTube videos, there are numerous high-level oval drivers who stream official races where you can find their hot laps and their VODs. And never be afraid to ask questions, especially in the comments below. And also feel free to join my Discord server where you can ask me at any time and I'm usually pretty quick at responding with specific oval questions. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Be on the lookout for more guides in the future and weekly track guides for ARCA on this channel. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you on the track.